واحنا المفروض كاستاتيك تو ماتش اللي موجود فما يبقاش عندنا اني بروبلم ما يكونش في اي ديفرنس بين وات وي اد للتوس ستراكشر هنتكلم النهارده التارجت بتاعنا لما بنيجي نعمل اي كومبوزيت ان احنا عارفين ان اني اي 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 في العالم بتاخد من 3 تو 5 سكند بعد كده الاي بيحصل لها ايه تلوز فوكس انت لو حاولت تبص على اي حاجه عينك بتاخد 3 5 ثواني بعد ال 3 5 ثواني بيحصل ايه انت بتفقد الفوكس يبقى انت عشان ترجع الفوكس ثاني يو نيد تو سكوينت يور ايز او انك انت تقفل عينك شويه فتقلل كميه اللايت اللي داخل فتخلي الفوكس بتاعك احسن فاحنا لعبتنا في الاستاتيك ان احنا دايما بنلعب على 3 to 5 سكند ان احنا لو قدرنا ان اي حد يشوف البيشنت لاني وهله هاي بتاع بيسلم عليه فاول 3 خم... 3 ل 5 ثواني لو العين حصل لها بروبلم للاي تلوز فوكس في المرحله دي هيبقى كويس جدا هيبقى كويس جدا ليه لان العين مش هتقدر تو كاتش اني ديفرنس مش هيبقى في اني بروبلم مش هيبقى في ديماركيشن لاين مش هيكون عندنا اي ديفرنس وده زي ما احنا شايفين في الكيس اللي قدامنا اللي انا بتكلم عليه دايما انك انت مش الشطاره انك انت تعمل كومبوزيت توز وتقول الناس اوكي ويتش وان از كومبوزيت حد يعرف يقول لي اني سن نعملها By default, احنا كدنتست, we work day and night in peace. We know the composite, we know the enamel, we know the dentin. If we look to any tooth, we will know the sinna di fia composite, or sinna di ma'amula min composite. Even if we give na probe, we scratch the surface, the sound of scratching ta'al enamel difference and the sound of scratching ta'al composite, fa hana'araf the sinna ma'amula fia composite. El idea, anana, I track your eye. اوكي انا هقول لك انا عامل كومبوزيت في السنترا بس دو يو نو انا حاطط الكومبوزيت فين او انت تعرف وير از ذا لاين اوف فراكشر السنة دي كانت مكسوره لغايه فين وانا اي ادد كومبوزيت فين ذيس از هاو اي تريك يور ايز ذيس از استاتيك ناو ده اللي بيخليني مبسوط جدا لما اشوف كيس انا بعمل لها ريميك وات ايفر في اني ريزون وببقى مش عارف طيب هو اه هي فيها كومبوزيت بس انا مش عارف الدكتور اللي قبليا حط الكومبوزيت فين او الكومبوزيت اكستند من فين لفين او الفراكشر لاين كان فين سو اي شود تيك اكس راي تو اندرستاند ايفريثينج عشان اعرف انا اي هاف تو ريموف منين لفين الكومبوزيت ذيس از اور تارجت اوكي اف وي لوك از اي سيد وي هاف ذا سنترال في كومبوزيت في السنترال بس انت لغايه دلوقتي ام ليفينج يو جيسنج فين كان الفراكشر لاين؟ كان فين؟ اوكي، okay. if we have a look, this is our fracture line. اوكي، okay. so this is success I speak about. I don't know, I speak about success like nobody will know this is composite. Of course, any dentist will know this is composite. لكن لو للبوبيوليشن، اه، oh, البوبيوليشن ممكن اقول لك مش هيعرفوا انه كومبوزيت. لكن I speak about dentists، لا كلنا هنعرف انه كومبوزيت بس I will trick your eye as a dentist. You will never ever know where is that. Demarcation line, uh, where is the fracture? I where I add my composite. This is our target. Okay. If we go more, we have to know that we have two type of line of demarcation. It's not one type because everybody in Egypt or Middle East, they always speak about one type of line of demarcation with this one. Okay. We call it precipital demarcation line. I'm always call it a precipital demarcation line because it's obvious. When you look to anybody, okay, this is composite. When you see anything, this is composite. Okay, this is the marcation of line because of many things. Maybe shade, maybe preparation, maybe your bevel, maybe, 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 many reasons. Polishing, blah, blah, blah. This is the marcation line. And this is obvious demarcation of line. This is most of people who speak about this demarcation of line, maybe because of shade. This is called precipital demarcation line, okay? And this is for every dentist, but this one is called imperceptible demarcation line and this is for professional i'm always saying i mean by professional here aesthetic people why if you look to this picture there is no demarcation line okay there is no demarcation line but if i start to move the light you will start to see the demarcation line if i go more you will see the demarcation line here okay Why? Why? I'm saying that the professional, and this demarcation line, we call it light demarcation of line, or imperceptible demarcation of line. يعني لغلبية الناس ما فيش demarcation of line. بس هنا المشكلة إيه? The shade matching, everything is nice. The problem is 
الاوباستيك ماتيريال لما بنغير اللايت فروم لايت تو لايت تو لايت وي ستارت تو سي ديماركيشن لاين ليه بقى هنا الديماركيشن لاين بنشوفه نتيجه الاوباستي نتيجه باسنج اوف لايت لكن مش نتيجه شيد ولا نتيجه حاجه فعشان كده هو امبرسبتبل ديماركيشن لاين لكن مش زي ديماركيشن لاين الاولاني فلازم ناخد بالنا از دنتست وسبيشلي بروفيشنال ان احنا عندنا تو ديماركيشن لاين مش بس الاوبفيس ديماركيشن اوف لاين لا احنا عندنا ديماركيشن لاين ممكن يكون عملت كل حاجه صح صح في حياتك بس يو دينت ماتش الاوباستي اند ترانسلوسن فور ذا توس عشان كده هيفضل عندك ستيل ديماركيشن Let's go to five step how to kill the marcation line. Of course, I will go to give you highlight in what we have to do to kill the marcation line. I'm not going to details because it take us like maybe two days or four days to speak in details how to kill the marcation line. But I will give you the highlight and the most important thing. Okay, five, five steps to kill the marcation line. Let's go to the first step. Shade. Shade is very important. Okay. Shade is the very important to kill the demarcation line. Why? Because if the shade match, okay, this is the first step to kill the demarcation line. But if you don't have matching and shape, so you will have obvious demarcation line from the first step. Why? Because you will have two different color. Of course, you will have shape like the picture. First step, if you have, we have blue. Sorry, we have yellow and we have pink. We have demarcation line because we have a different shade. So shade is the first thing to match. Okay, the very second shade we have to know how the color produced inside the tooth. Is they alone become a good fit tooth type? If you want, if you want to know how the color produced fit in a tooth, let them tip that tip him a tooth that nafsa him. If you look inside the tooth, you will see enamel. Okay, then we see dentine. Some cases in old age we see also secondary dentine, and we have the bulb. Right? Okay, that's cool. This is the tooth. But ehna ka dentist when we start to replace. The tooth, or when we start to treat the tooth, we work only in enamel and dentine. We trying and nahna to rematch again the enamel and dentine or the loose structure. Or what I like to say always, um, bring what is missing. Okay, the missing part of the tooth. Okay, so if we're gonna to work on the enamel, we have to understand that enamel is value. What the mean of value? Value is mean enamel is translucent. There is no color for enamel. Okay, the enamel is, has no shape. Enamel is translucent. Translucent called value. Value from white to black in the middle is gray. Okay, so value is light brightness. Okay, it's the brightness of the tooth. It's brightness like yeah. I mean, I will. And I add for the noor fatih. Add for the it light al. This is brightness. This is value. So enamel will always say value. So when you read in any book something saying in value, so we speak about enamel. It's the translucent material. With the most important thing is the value. So I should get the enamel. There, and if you have a high value enamel or uh, medium in translucent, high translucent, low translucent. This is mean high translucent, low translucent, medium translucent. Mean the value or the idaa al maujuda aliya watiya whatever. Okay. The second thing we have to be important about is dentine. Dentine we always say dentine is chroma. Okay, what the mean of chroma? Chroma and yani color. Chroma is the intensity of light. Yani, احنا عندنا the red one is a high intensity of chroma. لون قوي جدا في درجة اللون جامدة. Then we go to the pink. Pink is very weak, pale chroma. The chroma في ضعيفة. فدايما لما نتكلم على دنتين فاحنا بنتكلم على الكروما لأن الدنتين هو الكلر هو اللي بيدي الكلر of the tooth. لكن The enamel is a brightness. It's only translucent. Okay, they give you a little bit. عشان كده you have to understand that and the dentine shade give you 80% of the color. So if you match the dentine color, you match the color of the tooth. Okay, so the dentine is the most important. To be honest, in my opinion and in my concept, the Vinci concept, I work in it. We always believe that if we use the right dentine color, then I can use translucent enamel. Let's solve it out. I don't need any shade for enamel. I'm just gonna use translucent enamel. لأن كمانين في المية من الشيد بيبقى جاي من من الدنتين. Okay. طيب. إحنا كده عرفنا how the color produced inside the tooth. لكن how the color distributed inside the tooth. يعني هل السنة كلها is monochromatic? من cervical to incisal, ولا is polychromatic is different color. Of course, to be honest, guys, ma fish ay haga in nature is monochromatic. Anything in natural is should be polychromatic. Well, as long 
وكل ما تقدر انك تعملها مور بوليكروماتيك اتس مور ناتشرال اوكي طيب هاو ذات هابن هقول لك احنا عندنا ذا انامل از ذا ترانسلوسنت بارت رايت سو ذا سيرفايكال اريا از ترانسلوسنت اوكي ليتس جو فروم ذا جينجفال اتس مور ايزي If we go to the gingival part here, gingival cert, you see we have too much dentin, but the enamel is very, very, very thin enamel. So we have low value, right? We have low value because the enamel is very thin. We have high chroma, right? Because the dentin is very huge. Has the most color, right? Because it has the most dentin, and dentin is 80% of the shade, so it has the most color. If we go to the middle cert, Of course, it's a brightness area of the tooth. Why the brightness area? Because the middle part or the middle third, the, the part of the enamel and dentin is huge for both of them. The enamel is bulky and dentin is bulky, so we have the brightness and high value and high chroma in this area. If you go to the incisor third, it's mainly translucent enamel. What do you mean by mainly translucent enamel? That there is no shade. There is no chroma, okay? My fish chroma. There are my fish chroma. Is there is no shade. It's just translucent. Translucent means low value. Why low value? Because the translucent area reflect or bit shift the black background of the oral cavity, okay? So this is how the color distribute distribute inside the tooth. So you have to understand the layering technique. يعني يعني إحنا we study if this. كل اللي احنا بنعمله ستادينج ده ان احنا نفهم هاو ذا كلر بروديوس اند ديستريبيوت عشان نفهم ازاي نعمل الليرنج تكنيك يعني ايه نعمل الليرنج تكنيك يعني هقول لك لما تيجي على الانسايزل سيرت يو كان اد ترانسلوسن انامل اونلي واي بيكوز اتس ترانسلوسن اريا طب ان سم بيبول دي دونت هاف ترانسلوسن في الانسايزل اريا سو وي هاف وي دونت هاف اني ترانسلوسن سو وي ويل نوت بوت اني ترانسلوسن انامل طيب When I'm learning technique, I have to understand that now with patient old age, I have to use different color of dentin. Why? Because he has second dentin or primary dentin. So the second dentin, be the skin is more chromatic. So in the middle part, I have to add more chromatic color. So I go to more deep in color. Uh, even the enamel, I have to put the layer of enamel, my layer of enamel, the last layer of enamel on the tooth. It should be thin in the cervical. Then I go in the middle part, it's bulky. Then I go to the cervical, depend. Uh, so sorry, then I go to the incisors, depend on the patient, not your imagination. Depend on the patient is if I gonna, when I go to the incisor, I will add translucent or not. Why I said depend on the patient? Because most of dentists, they work by imagination. Okay, you learn it, you have to be, have incisor translucent. Okay, so you do all your cases by incisor translucent. Okay, this is not a static people. Your aesthetic work is to mimic what is natural. Okay, what you mean by what is natural? What is in the antagonist tooth? Some patient, I'm working on it. On the antagonist tooth, there is no translucent, fee attrition, erosion, blah 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 blah. So when I build the next tooth, I don't have to add any translucent. I have to do attrition in my tooth. Okay. دايماً بقول أني sometimes you have to compromise aesthetic to gain more aesthetic. ليه؟ يعني الاستاتيك اللي أنا أجين هنا I match all the teeth and I compromise it. I compromise my skills. لكن لو أنت ما عملتش compromise your skills وعملت كل حاجة حلوة قوي قوي زي ما تعلمتها Okay, you will do very nice tooth. But the tooth D, مش هتبقى mimic أو مش هتبقى ماشية مع بقية teeth اللي موجودة inside the patient mouth. So the incisor cert depend on the patient teeth. If you go more Here in the cervical cert, you have to put a little bit enamel because we have low value, a little bit enamel. And we have to put more dentin and the dentin should be more chromatic. Why? Secondary dentin and the bulk of the dentin, okay? So we have to keep in the shade. When we start to do shade, we have the first step to select your shade and use Vita shade. The Vita tab here will be 70 to 80% of accuracy, not 100%, 70 to 80%. Why? The Vita shade here will be all like, okay, You know, and to have to struggle, compose it. Ah, تقريبا يا A one يا A two. It give you seventy to eighty percent. It give you. I always saying the highlight of the shade. يعني the shade بتاعك ماشي في A two, A one. You're going to B, C, whatever. The beta shade هنا. 
when you use it, you have to use the middle part only. Why the middle part? Because the Vita shade is Aslan Vita company and all the company, they make it for porcelain, not for composite. So if we're going to use it for composite, you have to know how to use it for composite. Of course, it's not, this is our topic to say how to use it for composite. Like, if you go to the page of Instagram or Facebook, which is included in the lecture cosmetic courses by Dr. Chams, you'll see a video I'm talking about how to use Vita shade to select a shade for composite like the vita tab when you use it for composite you have to use it by some regulation actually it's not easy to use it so you have to see the video okay so i use my v tab now to get 70 to 80 percent of the shade of the tools okay then i have to move to another technique to get 100 percent to be honest 90 to 100 percent okay this is many technique to use it but the most famous one is called composite bottom and this is the most traditional one we use it today we're taking picture with our mobile for different bottom of composite we sell we start like we use our beta shape we see our composite is between a1 and a2 okay so we bring some uh, syringe of composite a1 and a2 we know that an a1 for different company from company blah blah to company blah blah the a1 here is different than a1 here so i put small bottoms from a1 from this company and this company a2 from this company and this company this is for dentine and when i go to select the enamel shade then i put like medium translucent uh low translucent and the size of edge then i take photo quickly with my mobile then okay i change the brightness i go down with brightness i go high with contracts so i can select the dentine shade why because the dentine is the chroma so when you increase the chroma in your mobile so it's easy to select the color in high chroma than and select the color in low chroma يعني ممكن اقول لك انت ممكن سهل قوي انك تنقي اقرب لون لما تكون الالوان غامقه اسهل قوي لكن لو كل الالوان فاتحه is very difficult انك تعرف اني لون اقرب للحاجه الثانيه if you want to select the enamel زي ما احنا اتكلمنا الانامل زي انامل از فاليو وقلنا ان فاليو يعني ايه يعني there is no chroma it's just brightness طب انا عايز احدد لون الانامل يبقى انا هنا لازم اشيل الكروما i have to remove the chroma i have to go for the value اوكي okay. يعني ايه i go to the value يعني انا i have to remove any color so i have to turn my picture to black and white هنا انا حولت الصوره to black and white so i take out كل الكلر والكروما فمش متبقي لي غير ايه value at this point i can select the enamel shade so after i select my enamel shade i can use it so i can go for 90 to 80 percent i can use my enamel and the shade as i said in layering technique in different depths whatever uh, to get your uh, layering technique now i can speak about something is called the modern trend and shade selection we work on it now it's more digitally we use filter this filter for camera professional camera this filter for the lens we call it polarized filter the polarized filter remove all the glare and light and reflection of the flash from the tooth if you see in the picture with the ring flash and different between the picture with the cross polarized filter the one with the cross polarized filter there is no light there is no reflection nothing it's pure color so if i add my bottom over the tooth and i take my picture with the polarized uh, filter the one bottom which is this appear like this one you will not see it except this is mean this bottom is the right shade why blending of course في المرحلة دي الوحيد اللي حصل له بلندنج هو ده اللي هيكون اكيورت 100% اوكي okay? So we move into the second step in killing line of demarcation. I call Maana a bevel technique, which is very, very, very important, guys. Okay, guys, I hope we're doing well until now. I know maybe it's look more uh, advanced for some people. I know I'm speaking about normal thing like bevel and shade, but I take the shade for uh, advanced level, then I take the bevel for the advanced level. Okay, but this is a static, guys. There is big difference between static and restorative and the normal density. Okay, so if we go to the bevel, we know that what is bevel? Why we use bevel? Bevel equal transitional line. What do you mean by transitional line or transitional area? It's a transitional area between the composite we're gonna add and between the two structure. In the middle, we have the bevel. Okay, 
Okay, so what the bevel do? The bevel is do the transitional. It's make you doesn't feel that there is difference between the composite. Then you go over the bevel with your composite. Then you go to the tooth structure. This transitional area is transition your eyes from the composite to the structure. So this is the area we're gonna trick your eyes so you will not understand or you will not feel any difference between the composite and tooth structure. So I use the bevel to trick your eye. This is the area we will trick your eyes, okay? So, we have two kind of bevel, okay? We have the short bevel, we have the long bevel, okay? I need you guys to think for, okay, we don't have time, like one second, which bevel is better? If I go to the normal bevel, small 1.5 millimeter, or if I go to wide long bevel, 1.5 to 2 millimeter, which one is better? Which transitional area is better? Of course, yes, the long bevel is better, why? Because in long bevel here, your transitional area will be big. So there will be degradation between the composite and tooth structure under it until we arrive to the tooth structure. So I will trick your eyes. Okay, you will not understand anything except if you see this. Okay, let's have a look. Here we have the tooth. It's a short bevel. Then we have that composite here. Okay. Here I'm going to have, look, look here. In this one, we have the dips between the composite and tooth structure. This one, we have the depth between the composite and the bevel. This one, we have the depth between the composite and the end of the bevel. If we have a look here, the composite, the composite level, it changed dramatically and very quickly in this area. So, of course, you will have noticed there is difference between two structure and composite. But in long bevel, let's have a look. The composite level, it changed very slowly, very slowly until we reach and fade up to the tooth structure. So, of course, I will trick your eyes and your eyes not get the feeling that there is big difference and big changing quickly, okay? So all of you using long bevel and all of you happy, but I have to tell you something, guys. Long bevel is not static anymore. Everything in the world is changing, especially long bevel. Now we're using something called infinity bevel. Infinity bevel, the bevel should be different lengths and depths and volume. This is in vanity bevel. This is the most aesthetic bevel right now. Okay, it's need high learning education. It's need high training to be in the infinity bevel because sometimes you're trying to do infinity bevel as you go to wars in your cases and everything was bad. So you have to get it's high learning education, but this is the most aesthetic bevel we have in our days. Okay, it's called zebra enamel sometimes, but this is the most aesthetic and this trick your eyes, okay? Then we go to our third step. We have the cleavage. Okay, it's someone weird. Cleavage. Okay, it's someone weird. I know, and everybody's fun, but it's cleavage. What the mean of cleavage? Cleavage in this area, the area between your palatal shelf and between the toes. This is the cleavage. This area. This area is very important. Believe me. And this area, when I tell you why it's important, you will know. And any aesthetic. Dentist, we believe this is the most important area in any composite. Why? Because cleavage is the area and contact between the here, between the palatal shelf and between the tooth. Okay, this area is very important to keep. Why? Because this is area where you're gonna put your learning technique. So if, the, if you don't have this area, so you don't have learning technique, it's finished. You have mono shade. But I have this area so I can put the team, then I couldn't put like secondary in team, primary in team, I put enamel, I put my last layer of translucent and everything. So this area is your area of layering technique. This is very important, guys. So you have to keep it because if you don't have this area, believe me, you will have line of demarcation. Why? Because you have a mono shade color. And mono shade color, this is not natural. Any natural tooth, as I said, is polychromatic. The fourth step finally is opacity. Opacity, I know there is nobody here speak about opacity in the Middle East, but to be honest, opacity is very important. There are a few dentists I hear here in the Middle East they speak about opacity, and a few companies bring opacity for us, composite opacity. Okay. I know most of the people now, they're listening to us, they know that we use opacity to mask discoloration, right? If you have something, look like this we use opaque composite to mask discoloration so we may can match the light uh, the color right okay let me tell you something secret between us 
It's not only capacity we use it for light of demarcation, sorry, for uh, masking discoloration. This is okay, yes, yes, I know, opacity for mask discoloration, okay, but we use it in composite for second most important thing. Opacity, killing passing of light. What do you mean? Killing passing of light, that's mean it's kill translucent. Yeah, fill a chef fear. Okay, you will not understand except you see this. Give me time, have a look. In any tools, we have a dips of color. Dips of color mean we have the enamel, we have the dentine, okay? So when the light come and strike inside the tooth, what's happening? The light go inside the enamel dentine, then it's turning back and go back to your eyes again, okay? So the light go a little bit, of course, inside the enamel, then we go a little bit inside the dentine, then it's come back and go to your teeth. So when you look to the tooth, we have a different color, right? Okay, that's cool. So if you want to mimic the natural, you want to have the same look when you're doing class four composite, which is the most difficult one. OK, here in this part, this is a natural two spot. The light go hit the tooth, then it's come back. It goes through the enamel to dentine, then come back. This is the composite you add. OK, if you don't have the right opacity in this composite, so the light will pass. You see now, why we use a big composite? Not only for this coloration, for this, why? Here, it goes that you made a composite and you didn't have to control the control opacity, right? And take control opacity is very critical. If you don't know how to do control opacity here, the light will add. But the light, when it adds, it will go where? It will add from the skin, it's okay. It may add from the skin, it may add from the skin, it may add from the But anyhow, it looks like a... هيبقى شكلها بالظبط هيبقى الجزء اللي فوق اوباك والجزء اللي تحت فيه شفافيه يعني البيشنت هو لما يقف في اي حاجه فيها نور او شمس او وات ايفر الجزء اللي تحت ايفن لو الشيد 100% ماتش بس الاوباستي مش مظبوطه هيبقى عنده الجزء فيه لاين اوف ديماركيشن اوف لايت الجزء اللي تحت هيكون شفاف لان اللايت بيعدي منه والجزء اللي فوق فيه اوباستي لان في بالب وفي دنتين وعامل اوباستي فهيكون فيه لاين اوف ديماركيشن هنا اللاين اوف ديماركيشن ده اللي قلت لك عليه امبرسبتبل لاين اوف ديماركيشن هو ده بتاع الاستاتيك اللي هو مش باين بس مشكلته انك انت ما عرفتش تكنترول الاوباستي عشان كده الجزء ده اللي هو بتوين the palatal shelf here it should be opaque composite so we use opacity of course opacity is very critical and you know must tell them shallow pasty except if you have the good education a good learning one of them and all you have to have to attend many learning scientific sessions this session and if you know for the tour i met good and good and i'll hear sorry dr best in the school good and good and i'll hear دكتور باسم هنا عامل ساينتفيك سيشن ان ديفرنت لو انت مهتم بالاستاتيك اتفرج على دي لو انت مهتم بالسيرجري طب ليه ليه انا بقول الاديوكيشن از فيري امبورتنت وبشكر الدكتور باسم جدا على فكره انا في دكتور باسم من سنين يعني واشتغلنا مع بعض كتير ولا زلنا بنشتغل مع بعض واعرفه كويس جدا وهو دايما مهتم جدا قوي بحته الكونتينيو اديوكيشن ومهتم كمان مش بالكونتينيو اديوكيشن بس هو مهتم ان هو تو اولويز برينج نيو ليفل اوف اديوكيشن او نيو ليفل اوف تكنيك حتى كان هو لسه عامل تكنيك جديد وفي ايام الكورونا ودايما هو يعني انترستنج ان دي طب ليه ده مهم جدا؟ لان خد بالك احنا افري داي الساينس خلص يعني افري داي وي دو افري داي ذا سيم افري ثينج بيبقى فاضل وان اور تو تريكس هي دي اللي هتنقلك تو ذا نكست ليفل اوكي يو ريد ذا بوك يو ريد افري ثينج يو هاف افري ثينج ان يور مايند خلاص انت عارف كل حاجه ومذاكر كل حاجه بس فاضل لك كل مره هتسمع كونتينيو اديوكيشن هتاخد تريك صغيره التريك دي اللي هتنقلك الليفل اللي بعده هتسمع بعدها هتاخد تريك صغير وانا ام اولويز سين جايز لما تيجي تحضر اي حاجه او تسمع اي ساينتفيك لازم تركز قوي انك انت اللي بتسمع له هيديك تريك او هيقول لك عنده معلومه انا هساعدك انك انت تجو تو ذا نيكست ليفل اوكي لكن الموجود في الكتب والموجود في العادي اوكي وي هاف ايفري ثينج سو ذيس از ذا بيست ثينج فور ذا شورت Learning education, زي اللي احنا عاملينه النهارده، ما عندكش وقت انك تقعد تسمع حاجات كتيره، I need like 15 minutes تطلع منهم بمعلومه. Okay, we go to our last step. Okay, of course, it's gonna be polishability. Why polishability? خلينا صراحه, if you didn't do your nine job which to do in polishing, دي سنان ما تعملهاش polishing. If you didn't do the right polishing, you will not see this. ايه ده؟ ده الترانسلوسن بتاعك وده اللايرنج تكنيك وهو ده الكالر انت حاطه. معروف ان احنا لو ما عملناش نايس بولشنج الترانسلوسن بيعتمد على حاجتين الثين او السكنس اوف انامل وبيعتمد على البولشابيلتي. If you didn't do your polishability you will not have the perfect shade match. I will not have your 
matching underlying of course again if you didn't do the, your polishing have a perceptible line of demarcation lay بعد فتره هيكون عندك رف اريا ورف سيرفيس هيبدا يحصل عليهم ديسكلريشن هيبدا يحصل some kind of color changing some food impact blah 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 so we will have discoloration this discoloration is called the pure line of demarcation because this discoloration always between the area between the composite and between the these sometimes we're calling the junction area يعني ايه junction area يعني لو انت حطيت two layer of composite جنب بعض وفي الاخر ما عملتش polishing كويس maybe after four to five months you will have this junction area connection between the tools between the layer of the composite or between the composite and the tools and this is our last slide i hope you learned something guys it was very quickly thank you very much for attendance thank you thank you dr shams uh thank you thank you thank you dr shams uh thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you والجزئيه بتاعت الدنتين ودي دي علاقه برضو كبيره بالموضوع بتاع البليتشنج وان احنا بنعمل بليتشنج ان احنا عايزين نوصل للدنتين ونعمل جانكشن عشان نقدر نفتح السنان بس اكزاكتلي الجزئيه بتاعت الفينشنج والبولشنج دي بقى الحاجات اللي هي التريكس اللي احنا كنا عايزين نصحى منك الحاجات الالترا فاين الحاجات اللي هي بتبقى الكربايد احنا فاهمين ان الـ الـ الحاجات بتاعت الفينشنج اللي هي الحاجات الفاين اللي هي البير الاصفر فاين عارف ان انت ما بتستخدمش الحاجات ديت انت بتستخدم حاجات سبيشال ليك فانا مش عارف انت عايز تقول الحاجات ديت دلوقتي ولا دي نخليها في مره ثانيه ممكن نعمل مره ثانيه نتكلم فيها على الفينشنج عشان الناس ما نطولش عليهم اوكي خلاص ميرسي جدا وانا برضه زي ما انا شكرت حضرتك في المحاضره انا بشكرك لتاني مره لانك انت من الدكاتره القلائل يعني حضرتك البرانش بتاعك ماكزيلو فيتشر از فيري قوي عنا بس من الناس القلائل اللي هي بتهتم بالكونتينيو اديوكيشن وبتهتم انها تساعد الناس اديوكيشن فور فري اديوكيشن وثانك يو فيري ماتش ثانك يو اي هوب تو سي يو اجين ثانك يو دكتور ثانك يو باي باي تصبح على خير مع السلامه وانت من اهلك